everybody, today I'm going to be doing a review on Jordana's Lip Lights. These are ultra electric hot neon lip glosses that make you feel like you're in the 80s all over again. So, um, I'm wearing one on my lips today and this is the shade Radiant Raspberry and that's an understatement because this thing is neon as heck. Now, I do have some live lip swatches for you. So as I review this, let's look at some live lip swatches. So the first shade I'm showing you guys is Pink Dazzle. This is an ultra light pink lip, stop, lip gloss. Now, considering that this shade is so light, I would have thought that there would have been a lot of different problems with it, but it really didn't present too many. It applied well, it didn't feather too much, didn't bleed, and it was slightly opaque when you build it up. This is not one of those glosses that you just want to swipe across your lips. You definitely want to dab and go slowly while applying this product. It has a slightly vanilla, warm vanilla scent, very similar to other Jordana products, not as overpowering as the matte lip products though. The next shade is Hot Pink Blaze. Now this is definitely more of a coral than a hot pink and this shade applied just as well as the first one. Very very neon in nature. You really don't need a liner with these products. You do want to put a liner, you can. This will just up the opacity of these but on their own they're pretty decently opaque for the type of products that they are. The shirt, third shade is Ambient Orange. Now this is a very very bright orange gloss. This kind of reminded me of a brighter Kat Von D a go go, like a brighter version of that. And this applies very glossy and smooth. Again, same, same, same quality as the first three shades. The quality is pretty universal between all these products. There's only one of these glosses that underperformed. The next shade is Radiant Raspberry, and this is the shade that I'm wearing today. This is a little bit of a purple toned pink. This is a little bit of a purple toned pink, so I always feel like it falls under the fuchsia family. Very easy to apply, a little bit of a more wearable shade is the collection. The next shade is Fuchsia Flash. Now this shade I feel is just more of a purple, kind of reminds me of the shade Heroin from MAC. And this shade had no problems to it, very easy to apply, again another more wearable shade. Uh, this one you can put a liner under it if you desire to, if you want to make it just a little bit more opaque. If you just want to apply this to say the center of the lips you can do that, but um, it is opaque on its own. The only shade that presented a problem was shade number 6 and this is Purple Pop. Um, I was expecting this to have the same kind of quality as the other ones, but this one was very sheer, streaky, just unpleasant to work with. Took a lot to build it up, and I feel like I feel like I never really got to build it up. So this product, this shade was very much a disappointment. I'm not sure why they didn't add more pigmentation to this one. So with these shades, you can put a liner underneath. You'll especially need a liner under that last one. But for the rest of them, you really don't need it. Like I'm wearing this one today with n I'm wearing this one today with absolutely nothing on my lips, not a primer, not anything. You can top these on top of lipsticks because they're not tacky, they're not sticky, they're not heavy. You can dab this right into the center of your lips for a little bit of of gloss. You can do a lot with this because it's a lighter formula and because it's not sticky or tacky usually that helps to retain the product on the lip this is only going to last about two to three hours before you start to see a wear this is definitely going to transfer onto things um as you can see mm, very smooth look there's no feathering you definitely have a nice deep pigmentation meaning that it's not just like a light pigmentation in a base no you definitely have enough pigmentation to cover the lips this is not a common lip product that we see in the drugstore we don't usually see like hot neon lip glosses that perform like this they're usually slightly sheer so if you saw these and you're like oh they're not gonna really look like that on my lip they're gonna look a little bit sheer on my lips no these are gonna look pretty much true to the tube what you see is what you're gonna get except for that last one your Dana lip lights color shock gloss is pretty affordable at $4.99 each these are limited edition so if you see them in your drugstore be sure to get them before they completely sell out. Unlike some products, I can totally understand why these are limited edition. Just because they're so bright, I can't see them like selling as a base product. You know, as a product that would be around for a while. So guys, have you checked out the Jordana Lip Lights? If you have, let me know in the comment section below. If you haven't, is this something you guys would check out? Have you seen it? Let me know. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And please be sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm Recycled Stardust.